Hey, what's going on guys? I'm gonna talk to you today about the K-pop group BTS and how one South Korean congressman recently said they should be exempt from military service. Now, while I don't agree with that, the congressman's logic is this, that BTS, their Japanese, uh, uh, Japanese album that they had produced, it's recently been released in the United States. The album's called Face Yourself and it's doing real well in the United States and BTS is obtaining worldwide popularity and they're, um, exporting Korean culture, South Korean culture in a positive way, in a positive manner. And make putting South Korea on the map in a good way. And if they go into the military, they'll have just, uh, fans will be without them for over a year. And their popularity at the least that's going to happen is their popularity is going to decrease, but they may not become famous anymore after they get out of the military service. And that's very common with male K-pop stars. Because in South Korea, the mandatory service is at minimum 16 months um, for each male, Korean male. And they have to do this to keep Korean citizenship. And I'm going to go um, further into that. Now, I think BTS still should go because all of the... Um, the K-pop group Big Bang, that had the song Bang Bang Bang, that was a big hit. They had to go. The K-pop star Rain, it's called Rain in the U.S. He's called B in the, um, in Korea. Well, B had to go. Um, they, I mean, all Korean men have to go unless they win gold in the Olympics, they win the World Baseball Classic, or they win the World Cup. If that happens, then they get an exemption for military service. Um, also, if you're medically unfit to go, um, sometimes that applies as well. But BTS doesn't qualify under those in that category. So they should have to go. Anyways, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless and bye-bye. Bye-bye.